talk about anxiety for a minute because my anxiety has been through the roof and what I mean by my definition of anxiety is little panic attacks worrying for no reason whatsoever um it hasn't been this bad since last summer after the whole you know George Floyd situation uh, and the protests that were happening it just seemed like a surreal um chain of events that happened and it was just like the world was moving it was a good thing but it was like it was so much trauma behind it like I you know just watching trauma videos and everything being uploaded and it's like the same thing is happening now it, it hasn't stopped really but you know where people uploading videos when they're showing shootings they're showing the death of people and it's just like it's so much to grasp and you try to hold on to every little piece of positive anything and I, I read a meme and then I actually did more research behind it saying that the reason why a lot of people watch the same shows over and over again who have anxiety is because you know how it's going to end it makes you feel good it's not like trauma inducing pain like you know what I'm saying like it's like I can sit down and enjoy something happy that's why I, um the actress Marseille Martin was like she's not doing any projects that have to do with black pain and stuff like that it's because we see that on a day-to-day -day basis but that's not a lot of people's reality like my reality is not pain what I see for my future is not pain so it's kind of like I don't want to keep reliving horrible situations and it's every day on social media so it's like, you know, you try to take social media breaks, but at the same time, I'm also, I like to be aware. And then also I do have the business with my sister. So it's like, you got to keep your ear to what's going on. But at the same time, it's like in small doses, like uh, you can set um, like a specific time of the day to like use social media and then get off it. But it's it's a very powerful tool. But it can also bring so much anxiety that you just don't know what to do with yourself. Like, sometimes you just have to just cut it off and put on something. Like, I watch The Parkers. I watch shows that I've used, I used to watch. I used to, I remember last summer, I had to actually watch That So Raven because my anxiety was so bad. I needed something that was innocent. I needed the, the whole, like, community of the show or wherever they live, their whole, like, realm I needed it to be positive because I just couldn't take anymore and I'm starting to get like that same thing and it's starting but I'm trying to catch it before it gets that bad because last summer was really really horrible. I want to watch the show them but I am so terrified to watch it. Everybody who's seen it said it's good but they say it will make you mad and it's just like with the whole like tensions and racial things that we're in right now is kind of like do I really want to sit through this but I really want to see it can y'all put down in the comments if it's worth watching please no spoilers please and yeah shout out healing hydrate yes we have the body cream going on get you some yeah I had to put that shameless plug in there I think I've came to the realization that I am a flexitarian meaning that I just want to have balance in my life. I just want to make sure I'm eating enough fruits and vegetables where I'm healthy on the inside. You know, everything is good. You know, a lot of uh, water and 100% uh, juices and stuff like that. But at the end of the day, I have to, it's not that I had like certain, like an eating disorder. It's like I was just overthinking about what I should be eating and sometimes I wouldn't eat because I'm just like, you know, I don't want to eat the wrong thing. And then that was also making me very tired and very weak. And it also made me think I was sicker than I was. And I really just was not feeling well due to my cycle. But at the end of the day, 
I am going to eat chicken. I am going to eat certain meats. But I just was really hard on myself that I was just like, man, I don't want to eat meat. I don't want to be like a hypocrite. And But at the end of the day, I'm human. And I do, I used to eat meat all the time until, you know, my health history with fibroids and stuff like that. I became a strict vegetarian. Um, and I was that way for months. Like when I first started YouTube, uh, my very first video, you can tell, like, I was, I was, you know, sl a little slim and petite, you know what I'm saying? Like, I was strictly, I did not play no meat. It was plant-based everything. Now, I feel like a little bit of chicken, lots of fruits and vegetables, a lot of water. I think I'm good, and I think that's what I'm going to do. But I do love vegan snacks and vegan foods and trying new things, so I will keep that on my channel. But I am going to stop with the labels of putting me one thing because then I feel guilty and that shame did create some type of eating disorder within myself. And I don't want to to spread that around. I don't want anybody else to feel ashamed because you're grown. You can eat what you want to eat. You know what I'm saying? You can make that decision for yourself. And that's just what I'm going to do. So my channel will be a nice mixture of you know, foods that I enjoy and what keeps me healthy. And that's that on that. And this Thoughts of an Introvert video will be totally random this week. But I just want everybody to know if you want a better relationship with anybody, let's just say you're like, man, I wish, you know, things could be different. I wish it could be better. Um, Check on them. It, it can be better. You have to work on that. And if if you say you reach out and it's not working out right now, that's fine. Like, but it's a very tough time all around for everybody. So just be a little bit more kinder and a little bit more kinder, a little more kind. I think that's it. Let me know. Grammar police or whatever. Y'all in here. It's okay if you feel like, you know, you don't fit in with the times because I'm like, yo, I don't. You know, I'm just getting on TikTok, Clubhouse. I'm going to put all my handles in the description. But at the end of the day, it's like, I just be like, it's so much going on. Like, sometimes you don't even be knowing what you be looking at. Like, you see something funny, and then you see something heartbreaking all in one scroll. And it's like, I don't like this. <laughs> I don't. It's it's too much, and I don't even know if my mind could pretend it's okay anymore. You know what I mean? Like I have to say something now. It's 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 beginning to be too much. Like last week when first they were saying like you know DMX is gonna pull through, and then they were saying no, oh, he's gone. It doesn't look too good, and I'm just like, and they kept going back and forth, and I'm like, I mourned this man like three times. That is not normal, nor is it okay. And then this week, I have to see all this trauma porn as far as, like, police shootings and stuff. It's like, we're not okay. Like, I feel like I'm I'm good for a good five years in therapy. Like, they got me, yeah, with enough, like, <laughs> things that have traumatized me. Yes, it's been crazy. And... The most you can do is find something to hold on to, whether it's family, whether it's your favorite TV shows, whether if, if you get, like I created Song of the Day. So every day of the week, I have a song that I play and I try to make sure it's a positive one. You know, it could be a song where you feel like if you're feeling sad, you feel through it. But after that, maybe you need another song to like bring you through it and make you happy. So today's song for me was uh commander by kelly Rowland. it's just an upbeat dance song and i think it, it's important it might sound a little corny but man like it get me through them days and i feel like you should take each day and make something creative like put your own spin on your day and calling out all my creatives like myself we need to get back hype we need to get back in this thing I know these are trying times, but we definitely need some more good content. Um, and I'm not just talking about YouTubers. I'm talking about, like, if you on uh, Instagram, I see a couple. Like, I support all type of, you know, like, underground music, 
YouTube comedians. I, I love it all. I love people being creative and I don't feel like it should be looked at because I know a lot of people look like say, oh, you know, those Instagram comedians aren't funny. I think a lot of them are very talented. It's just, you know, a different times and they moving with their times and they they're um, using what they have. A lot of people on TikTok. I think it's all great. I just want people to go harder. You know what I'm saying? Like um, push each other too. like collab with people. I think it'll be really good. Um, I feel like we all been kind of in a funk. This was kind of like a very depressing winter. But, you know, the sun is shining. Um, it's a lot of good energy out here. And I think, I, I don't know, I just feel, I feel better. And so I want everybody around me to feel better. So I, I say, let's cheer up. Let's, you know, start, have your coffee, have your smoke, you know, whatever. whatever. And, <laughs> and let's just really start pushing and getting better content out there and really, you know, taking it seriously and any type of you know motivation that you need you know create that like I said before like create the environment so you can start producing what you need to you know put out there and that's and this is motivation for me too because I just you know how you just be in a funk but it's like that's over with you need to really step your game up so i i challenge myself to put out more videos because it's been kind of a weird time but i definitely don't want my page to get dry i see a couple new subscribers thank you so much for uh subscribing to me even though you know i've been you know ghosts lately and you know i hate the ghosting thing but we ain't even finna get into that y'all so please check out healing hydrate it is in the description box below let me get this right so y'all can see that i am very excited about everybody who you know made a purchase thank you so much i very much appreciated me and my sister we worked really hard and the lotions and everything fit right in your purse the blemish treatments it's just it's a mood like go ahead and try it like at night go ahead and put it all over like that's exactly what I'm gonna do when I finish this video take a shower and wash my face and then go ahead and use the blemish treatment it's it's a vibe like for real it really makes you feel relaxed and it's like a a personal spa treatment if you will <laughs> that's all for this video I will be back later on this week with another one I promise um, so I'll catch y'all later. Please don't forget heal and hydrate. Get your lotion, honey. Yes, and I'll see y'all in the next one. And we at.